Russia strikes Ukrainian rail and fuel systems. Russian forces launched a series of strikes on Ukrainian rail and gasoline facilities on Monday that were far away from the main lines of their eastern incursion. Oil installations in western Russia, near the Ukrainian border, have been hit by two fires in recent days. The cause of the fires remained a mystery. Top US officials offered greater aid to assure Ukraine's victory as the conflict enters its second month. The US Secretaries of State and Defense said on Sunday that Washington had authorized a $165 million sale of non-US ammunition, largely but not exclusively for Ukraine's Soviet-era weaponry, and over $300 million in financing to acquire further supplies. Secretary of State Antony Blinken stated Monday that real outcomes had been achieved as a consequence of the West's unity and pressure on Russia. It's imperative that the nations that Ukraine has requested arms from do so quickly, according to Kuleba, if the West hopes that Ukraine will win the conflict and stop Putin in Ukraine and not allow him to push farther, deeper into Europe. Attempting to divide Russian society and destroy Russia from within, Putin said. When Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24, their stated objective was the quick seizure of Kyiv and perhaps the overthrow of its government. However, the Ukrainians were able to stall Putin's army's advance on Kyiv with the assistance of Western armaments. Donbas in the east is now Moscow's stated purpose. In spite of what both sides say, Russia hasn't started a full-scale ground offensive and hasn't made any major progress in the east yet. Tied down in the important city of Mariupol, Ukrainian soldiers seem to be preventing Russian reinforcements from joining the attack elsewhere in the Donbass. This weekend, Russian soldiers struck the factory again, hoping to evict the 2,000 militants still within. For the safety of the steelworks 1,000 people, Russia has promised to establish a humanitarian corridor on Monday. Ukraine reacted skeptically to the Russian offer. Russia has already broken agreements on similar evacuation routes, according to Deputy Prime Minister Irina Verishchuk on the Telegram Messenger program. To ensure an orderly evacuation, she contacted the UN. Because of its position on the Azov Sea, Mariupol has seen heavy warfare from the beginning of the conflict. If Ukraine loses control over the Crimean Peninsula, Moscow will have a land passage to the peninsula, allowing it to expand its control over the region. With missile and war aircraft hitting distant from the front lines, Russia seems to have aimed to interrupt the supply of gasoline required by Ukraine's military forces on Monday, which would have slowed the flow of supplies to its troops in the east. Ukrainian Railways CEO Oleksandr Kamyshin said five sites in central and western Ukraine were attacked early Monday. That includes a missile strike near the city of Lviv in the west. Russian airstrikes in the central Vintsia area, according to Ukrainian officials, have killed at least five persons. According to Russian Defense Ministry spokesperson Major General Igor Konashenkov, Russia also bombed an oil refinery and gasoline storage in central Ukraine's Kremenchuk. At least 56 Ukrainian targets were taken down by Russian jets throughout the course of the night, according to the Russian general. Russia's emergencies ministry says that a huge fire broke out at an oil depot in a city about 60 miles from the Ukrainian border early Monday. The blaze had no known cause. Large, dense smoke could be seen billowing out of the blaze. Russian state firm Transneft owns and operates the Druzhba pipeline, which distributes crude from Russia to other European nations, via the oil storage in Bryansk. The fire destroyed a diesel fuel store, according to the ministry. Apparently there is enough fuel in the area to last 15 days. The depot's location was unknown, but Polish pipeline operator Pern claimed supply to Poland were unaffected. An early morning fire broke out at a second oil storage site in Bryansk, according to Russian media reports. Recently, two Ukrainian helicopter gunships attacked an oil station in Belgorod, Russia, near the Ukraine border. It was encouraging and, critically, effective, he said in a video message posted Monday.
It was also decided to enhance the military forces of Ukraine and address all our army's key demands, the Ukrainian president said. Zelensky has shifted his emphasis to heavier weapons, including as tanks and artillery, as Russia moves closer to the Donbas. After defeating far-right candidate Marine Le Pen in the first round of voting, French President Emmanuel Macron was re-elected for a second term on Sunday. As a result of her past ties to the Russian government and her opposition to EU restrictions on Russian energy, Marine Le Pen